This one's for you. And I am talking Bud Light. Ha! AK nigga with a little red light. Woof. Often imitated. Never motherfucking duplicated, huh? That's right, your boys back the motherfucking voices here. Okay, folks, for those that know and for those that don't know, I'm the motherfucking voice. Yeah. Huh? And chill. Look here, the voice been under the weather. As you probably can hear, my motherfucking voice ain't sounding quite the same. It's not. It's been a rough week for the voice. Goddamn Christmas has come and gone. I want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy motherfucking New Year's. But that ain't the reason for the voice camming up. That is not. The reason for the motherfucking voice camming up is we got a big game this Sunday. Believe that. Mm. Yeah, voice do drink but like that. I, I just don't be saying that motherfucking shit just because. And then also I do, you know, I dibble and dabble in the voice. I finally got a day off. <sighs> God damn. Let me take a little squeak before I get this motherfucking video going. Cause you know we got a good goddamn I got a lot of shit to speak on for this motherfucker, right? Chill. So just bear with me. Because you know the voice gotta take his goddamn little squeak. Oh, oh, I don't use shot glasses. Hmm. I can motherfucking serenade shots on sight. Alright. <sighs> Wolf. Okay. Now look at here. You win, you go on. You lose, you go the fuck home. It's the motto. But the damn thing about it this time around, my Carolina Panthers going down to Atlanta again, week 17, to play the motherfucking Falcons and win the motherfucking NFC South on day home turf. We did it last year, for those that know, and we're going to do it again this year. For those that motherfucking know. Believe that. There's never ever been a back-to-back -back NFC South champion. Records are meant to be broken. And the NFC South been reigning for a long time. And ain't nobody ever won it back-to-back. -back. But what, what better team to do it? Huh? What better team to do it? My Carolina Panthers. Now, there's a lot of shit, and I've been watching a whole lot of videos. And the voice, I, I really, man, I've been busy. And like I said, I've been under the weather. I have. Really, I have. And please forgive me. But if you don't, I don't give a motherfuck. But for those that think that Carolina just going to come down this motherfucker and just going to lay down and let you bitches take this motherfucker, you're smoking big dope. And y'all trying to blow them goddamn smoke screens about Julio fucking Jones. We all retro know Julio is going to play. And for those that don't know nothing about Josh Norman, please believe you motherfuckers going to know about my boy Josh Norman. <laughs> this motherfucking Sunday, goddamn. Because he's going to roll. And he's going to follow Julio all over that motherfucker like he did in Atlanta. Like when we played Atlanta and Carolina. Believe that shit, man. We he had, what, six catches, 50 yards? Now, you motherfuckers might just be looking at this six and eight and one record and be like, man, goddamn. Yeah, we ain't had the best of years. And damn, you bitches ain't neither. Y'all six and nine. But sports lab person, person, goddamn, you been pounding your chest. I love your passion. And you know the voice ain't no hate on that shit. I love your motherfucking passion. But you all retro motherfucking know. You keep talking this shit that you bet. We better than every team in this in our division because we 5 and 0. What, what, what the fuck a division record got to do in the goddamn thing now? Y'all 5 and 0 in the division, and y'all what? 1 and goddamn 8 and it outside the division. Y'all won one game outside the division. Hmm. Y'all won one motherfucking game. This for all you motherfuckers that keep listening to this bullshit person talking about. Y'all won one motherfucker. Fucking game. And I do believe it was against the goddamn Arizona Cardinals. Y'all beat Arizona at home. Y'all only goddamn win outside the fucking division. But y'all just a better team. Hmm. Okay. So how you gonna feel, Percy, when you goddamn be 5-1 in the fucking division 
and your fucking ass is 6 and 10, and my Carolina Panthers go off into the playoffs, and we play them sorry ass Arizona Cardinals in Bank of America Stadium next Sunday. Woof. This ain't that type of video. I was not trying to get too hype. Because I got to run through a lot of stuff because the voice ain't been on here in a while. I haven't. Saints fans are very upset on that ass kicking y'all gave them. They are. They are quite more upset after that 41 to 3. I call it 41 to 3 ass kicking we gave them in the Superdome. You Falcon fans don't understand. You really don't. What's coming? I'm going to leave you motherfuckers at this. I want y'all to check goddamn Cam Newton in the Carolina Panthers December record since he came into the National Football League. And then get back with me. Leave it in the comment section. I don't need to ask Panther fans that type shit. Hmm. I want you to check Jonathan Stewart's rushing yards in the past four games. Who, what running back, starting running back, leads the NFL in the past month in rushing yards? Hmm. These are just, for those that this shit just going, going over you motherfuckers' heads, these are for the real trash talkers, real football minds. This that real shit. All right. Y'all's defense hmm, has been playing a lot better. It has. But really, has it been playing that well? I hear motherfuckers talk about we only put up 17 points against the Cleveland Browns. I would like to say to that that Cleveland Browns defense is way motherfucking better than y'all's. Times three, my nigga. Like if you shooting a fucking free throw and you only hit one, them bitches take the ball down the floor and hit a three-pointer. It's like that. Believe that. Now, let me get to these bets. Let me get to these bets. My boy Joe Rock, we made a bet early in the year about the rushing yards. And I'm putting it on video so they all know what the stipulation was. Me and you bet that the running backs, that the current, you said we bet that the Atlanta Falcons would outrush the running backs for the Atlanta Falcons without rush, the running backs for the Carolina Panthers. But you said for my team that I had to take Cam Newton out the equation, which is fine. And I agreed to that bet. And we had a hat bet on it, a draft hat, right? All right. We are, we are nipped up. We nipped up on that bet. But you got to take Matt Ryan shit out of there too, right? Because hmm? you said running backs. The way the bet was read, it was running backs. Because if it's all rushing, that could be wide receivers and every motherfucking thing. It's all about running backs, right? I'm just clarifying this motherfucker because it's, it's coming down to the nitty gritty. And it's close to the motherfucker. Woof. <laughs> but I got your ass. I got your ass. Freeman ain't about to goddamn do a motherfucking thing. But any goddamn way. g Simp, your motherfucking ass. Boy, goddamn. Let me find out you beat one of them. Let me find out you beat Panther Nash for five hundred dollars. I heard my boy paid a five hundred dollar bet to you. Mm. And we just got a little punk ass fifty dollar bet on the record. So we are gonna see if you pay up. That that's what we about to see. We about to see if you gonna fucking pay up on that. But you already know what that bet is. I got another bet with goddamn Sean J, but he goddamn quiet as a church mouse. So I must have already then won that motherfucker. Hmm. But if not, you just goddamn let me know the stipulations. You can leave it in the damn description box on that. Because I had them three bets with you motherfuckers. Now, I just wanted to put that shit out there. My Carolina Panthers are coming to goddamn the fucking Georgia Dome. And please motherfucking believe they don't have a man by the name of Michael Vick going to save their ass this time. Hmm. That's the only reason why my hatred for them fucking Falcons that came in is as large and it has been. It's because Michael Vick used to kick our goddamn ass and y'all think I am scared and my Panthers are scared of Matt motherfucking Ryan motherfucking Sap walking ass, huh? It's on, folk. The voice is here. Yeah, I've been a little under the weather, but I'm still, I see y'all. Yes, I do. 
this video then went too long. But I just had to put this little shit out there. So y'all check all that shit and y'all put it in my comment section. And I'm about to keep drinking this good shit. Believe that. I'm looking forward to hosting the Arizona Cardinals next week for some payback. God damn it. And yeah, cat dog. Yeah, I might be looking ahead because I because I can. Cat dog, I'm gonna smack your ass, silly. Cause you bitches damn sure ain't beating the fucking Seahawks, huh? Get the fuck out of here. With that sorry ass four stream quarterback. Good God of damn matter. But don't hate me, you chump ass motherfuckers. Because I'm just a motherfucking messenger. Joe Rock, get at me. Sean J, if you need my number, Joe Rock, send it to him. Hmm. And Simp, we all retro know. I just I just find you on Twitter. Tweet, tweet, my nigga. And Percy, pump your brakes. Pump your motherfucking brakes. But I understand you still got that vendetta on them ain'ts. You need to be worried about the motherfucking Carolina Panthers this week, my nigga. But I'm the voice, and I'm motherfucking out. I catch you motherfucking cats around, and we about to kick that ass. Woo!